This is solving for time. For this example, I'm going to use the question, I left $1,200 in the bank at a rate of $2 per hundred per year, and the bank paid me a total of $96. How long was my money in the bank? The first question I'm going to ask is what information do I know? I know the principal is $1,200. I'm going to represent my $1,200 with 100 squares. So I have 1,200 squares. The next piece of information that I know is the rate. The rate is $2 per hundred. To symbolize our rate, we're going to use unit beads. And we have two unit beads per hundred dollars. The last bit of information that we know is the total interest that we were paid. and that was $96. So here we know what we have received per hundred dollars, and we have used 24 unit beads. That is per year. So I can take a Skittle and place my unit beads with one Skittle. So now I know how many unit beads I have with one Skittle, which will represent one year. So I have 24, and I'm going to go ahead and count out 24 more beads from my total of 96. So there's 24 more beads and I'll put another Skittle to represent a second year. And I still have beads left in my container from the total 96, so I'm going to count out another 24. There's 24 more, so that represents a third year. We still have beads, and that represents a fourth year. I'm now out of beads. The information that I wanted to find was how many years I had left my money in the bank. So the time. And we know that by the number of Skittles. So we left our original principal in the bank for four years. This is level two of solving for time. I would ask the child how we solved for time in the previous presentation and they could tell me that we took the total interest, which was 96, and we divided that by our principal, which was 1,200. And then we divided that by our rate, which was two one hundredths. We'll need to change this so that we're taking 96 divided by 1,200 and we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of two one-hundredths, which is 100 divided by two. And the students can solve for this, and they find that our time is four years. This is level three, solving for time. We're going to use the previous equation that the students recorded and find the algebraic formula for time. So we're going to find time equals, we had the interest divided by the principal, divided by the interest divided by the rate. If we want to simplify that equation, we know that time is equal to interest divided by principal times rate.